The ruler is very fast and great for its intended applications. For more control over parameters, Discovery's new geometric parameter tool is found right below the ruler. Let's take a look at those three holes again for which you parameterize to optimize for strength and weight. Notice that if you blindly change their size without a referential boundary, then you might break through neighboring faces and create undesirable results. Instead of parameterizing the size of the hole, you could use the new geometric parameter tool to create a parameter for the material between the edges of the holes or the web thickness. You can select faces or edges and they will be similar. Notice in the HUD options there are four different measurements related to those two circular edges. Maximum distance between axes or centers, max or min distance between edges, or the total length of those edges together. The web between them is the minimum distance between objects. If you select that and click the check mark on the right of the HUD, it will automatically create the parameter. I'll just sketch a quick line here to show that's the correct value. If I go ahead and change that to five, you can see the web gets thinner and the holes larger. You could have set up a dimension to the straight edge on the side or any other reference. Notice if you select one, they are still a nice rounded 20 millimeters from the measurement panel down in the right. Another example for the geometric parameter tool is with some move tool rotations. The move tool can rotate geometry on a body like faces or edges. It can also rotate entire bodies, components, and more. Notice if you rotate this camera body, the other camera rotates too. This is because they are instances, which you can create internally or import from CAD files. This can save time if you want all instances to change simultaneously, but is undesirable if you want independent control over each camera angle. Instead of selecting the body, you can select the component to rotate just one. Since moving components is so common, the Move tool has a Select Component tool guide. If you click that, it will first upselect our solid to its component. But if I click elsewhere, whatever I click will select its component and not the geometry of the body. Now if I rotate, it only rotates that one component and not all the bodies. To control the rotation better, let's drag the move handle to these holes. If you lock in a rotation direction and try to set up a ruler, it may snap to the angle you want. But it's possible it will snap to an undesirable orientation or angle or be difficult to set up correctly. If you switch to the geometric parameter tool, you can select these two edges, switch to the angle option, and complete it. One last example involves parameterization of an entire body. If, for example, you want to reduce the mass based on a specific change to the model, instead of parameterizing the change, you can parameterize the mass based on anything that will modify the geometry. For example, pulling this face. After specifying the action, you can use the geometric parameter tool and select the entire body, which you can do with a triple click. You can choose from mass, volume, or total surface area. Let's pick mass and click the check mark. Back in Define Parameters, you can see what you added for distances, angles, mass, etc. If you created any extra parameters, you can easily delete them at any time with the check boxes and the delete icon. There is actually another parameterization method that is incompatible with these types of parameters. So let's go ahead and select them all from here and delete them.